Hi, I'm Zarya, and I'm really excited about exoplanets. There are eight planets in our solar system, but how many planets are there in the Milky Way galaxy? How many in the universe? Would you believe that until the mid-1990s, there were no confirmed planets outside our solar system, also known as exoplanets? Today, there are more than 3,200 confirmed exoplanets and many more out there to find. Two main tactics are used to find these planets, Doppler effect and eclipsing. A prime example of the Doppler effect is an emergency vehicle. Have you noticed that as the vehicle travels towards you, the pitch is higher than when the vehicle travels away from you? As the vehicle travels towards you, the sound waves are squeezed together producing a wave with a shorter wavelength and higher frequency and therefore higher pitch than the original wave. The opposite is true when the vehicle is traveling away from you. The waves are pulled apart. This is called the Doppler effect, which also applies to light. As a planet pulls on its host star, the star wobbles, creating a Doppler effect. When the star is pulled toward the Earth by the orbiting planet, the emitted light has a shorter wavelength and appears blue. As the star is pulled away from the Earth, the light has a longer wavelength and appears red. A closer look at the data collected by a telescope can tell scientists the characteristics of the orbiting planet, like how large and how far away it is from its host star. This method is used primarily by Earth-bound telescopes in the search for exoplanets that are large and close to their host stars. The other method, eclipsing, is mainly used by space telescopes, such as Kepler. As an orbiting planet passes between its host star and Earth, it blocks out a minuscule amount of the host star's light. This data, like the Doppler effect data, can provide insight into the planet's orbit and size. The eclipsing method is slightly more effective than the Doppler effect because it is not limited to large planets with small orbits. The upcoming TESS mission, set to launch in late 2017 or early 2018, is the next step in exoplanet exploration. It will use the eclipsing method to look for exoplanets in an area 400 times larger than the Kepler mission's area. The team behind the mission expects to find approximately 3,000 exoplanets, with around 20 being Earth-like planets in the habitable zone. Finding exoplanets is the first step in the search for extraterrestrial life. Maybe one of those planets in the habitable zone will be the home of a future Earth colony. As renowned physicist Stephen Hawking says, our only chance of long-term survival is not to remain lurking on planet Earth, but to spread out into space.